Peace. Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of the Foul Play Land. As always, I am Sir Foul Player of Brooklyn. I wanted to talk about some breaking news that happened in the country of Jordan. Three service members were killed from a drone strike. There were also 30 U.S. service members that were injured in this strike. At this current juncture, right now, from the last thing I read, initially it was three members that were U.S. service members that were killed and 30 service members, 27 service members that were injured. From the first numbers I heard, and now I just, before the making of this video, was told that the number was three service members that were killed in addition to three to 30 service members now that are injured from this missile strike from a unmanned drone in Jordan. This happened on the border of Jordan and Syria. And I wasn't aware that there were troops in Jordan until this morning. And I'm in the know in a sense, like that I try to stay tuned to like geopolitical news and whatnot. But I wasn't aware that there were troops in Jordan at this time. But apparently um, there are, and some were struck from a missile strike. There's also troops in Syria on the other side, uh, near where this strike happened, the bordering country, uh, Syria. There's uh, troops there, troops in Iraq still. A lot of people aren't even privy to that. And in recent years, in the last three years particularly, a lot of instances of attacks on service members in these countries are happening more and more. And it's a little bit scary because with a less military presence in these countries, you have these troops that are out there, sometimes uh, 4,000, 5,000 maybe, that are sitting ducks in a sense. Uh, and it's sitting ducks that if those troops are killed in mass, particularly, that we're right back into getting into a war with that country in which an attack like that would happen god forbid so i'm against troops being in countries especially in no low numbers like that the u.s public i think in mass would be against that as well we shouldn't have a troop presence in these countries if you want to have elements that are working undercover or whatnot uh, you know go have at it but to have you know, men in uniform of our young troops out there, that's a big no-no in my eyes. But I don't want to give my opinion on that, and I don't want to ramble in that instance, but I think it's uh, proper because of instances like today in which our service members are getting killed out here. You know, I'm in the last couple of years, I've kind of like kept watch with these things and I've noticed that like here and there our um, troops were getting killed in these in these arenas. And um, an instance like today, I mean, like because that's kind of a high number and it's actually from a drone strike. This isn't like a bomb or something like that. It's actually um, a higher grade weapon that was wielded against these uh troops today you know and it's not acceptable i don't propose going into a large-scale war over this um right now i mean this is like um we ju we're just learning about this now right now, also too like the official narrative is that this is from iranian backed uh, militants of some sort i would hold off on that as, not hold off, but I would uh, wait and see what happens in the next coming days as far as the source of where this strike came from. Like, in the sense that recently in other fields of battle, there have been missile attacks that have happened that were blamed on one country. And then to find out a few days later that it emanated or came from a separate country. And... um where people were gun ho about going into a uh, new war, like in Poland, for instance, or over a strike that happened in Poland, for instance, recently. You know, I think we should hold off as far as 
jump into conclusions as to where this strike uh, came from. But as of now, the blame is going towards Iranian-backed militants. And a lot of the blowhard talking heads in Fox were saying that we should be going into a war with Iran just off general principle in what happened today with these three troops getting killed. Again, I would hold off on jumping to conclusions for instances like the example that I gave earlier with Poland, but this is really bad. We could enter into a Iraq level of invasion for things of this nature, like especially if they escalate, especially if they happen in these other countries where our troops are sitting ducks like uh, Syria. You know, if these things happen in as a coordinated effort with uh, drone strikes uh, happen, you know, happening um, in mass, you know, there's really no response we could um, do to prevent that like at this current juncture with a low amount of troops in these countries. But, and I say that to say that any of these things could lead to a large scale uh, war. And right now, I don't think the country's prepared for that financially. I mean, everybody's suffering right now. It's a topic that comes up on this channel a lot. But we also have our own problems with the situation on the border that's happening right now it seems like things are progressing and one thing that has been happening in the background of all this is that things have been progressing in a sense to a world war um three type environment in the world where you already have uh, two countries duking it out as we speak. Um, several countries financing that battle as we speak. Another source of why things are becoming more expensive here domestically in the U.S. But to enter into a field, a new field, where you could actually have the threat of troops entering into that field in mass like we did just a couple years ago where we had a large number of US troops in Iraq for several years, for close to a decade or more than a decade within that arena. You know, do we wanna revisit to that? Especially at this current time, I don't think most Americans would, but I think a lot of this also happens because of the person that's sitting in the chair as we speak, where people think that they could get away with that one as far as other countries thinking that now's the time in which we could uh, flex our muscle with the uh, West. But normally, regardless of whether it's a Republican or a Democrat that's sitting in the chair, these things don't tend to not happen just because of the might of the US military. But for them to happen, at such frequency now in which these stories never really broke the news much besides the 13 troops that were killed in Afghanistan. But now we have a instance of a whole different country that most Americans don't know where we had troops in that country to now finding out this morning that three of these troops and were killed in addition to 30 troops were injured from a drone strike. <clears throat> Pardon me. In terms of the drones too, I mean, if we do enter into a larger scale war in this country, one of the arrowing things, or one of the scary things is that to have U.S. troops in the field of battle now is a lot more dangerous because of these drones. Drones are not really expensive to make. And I'm talking about unmanned drones that could actually launch a missile are not expensive to, to make in terms of that versus a tank. Uh, they're probably a lesser cost to build a drone 
an unmanned drone and the bigger thing is that you don't need somebody driving them so you don't lose the troop should they get struck down so they're cheap to make they're easy to produce <clears throat> and no casualties happen in if one of them is to fall in battle you're going to have a lot of drones like you do in ukraine right now ukraine uh is one of the fields of battle in which drones are being used right now and you actually could find videos on different avenues where drone strikes are being used to in that field of battle as we speak but to have a large number of our own u.s troops entering into a field of battle where the weaponry has improved dramatically since Iraq, since Afghanistan, and you have an entirely new element with these drones that are silent, that are unmanned, that are easy to produce, cheap, and are being employed right now in a large-scale war or a battle, if you will. But these are very dangerous times we're entering into. I mean, you guys... Um, really need to be tracking a lot of these things. I, I myself, again, up until this morning, didn't know a, about troops being based out of the country of Jordan. And I consider myself in the know by keeping my ear to the ground with these things. And I didn't know about this, but up until right now, finding out that some a large number of troops were injured and killed with this strike today. So, I mean, uh, my heart goes out to the families and to the troops that were injured and killed within the strike. You know, it's never good to hear. I don't care if you're a bleeding heart, white, female, liberal. You know, this is never uh, good to see our troops getting killed regardless of the political stance you take. And that's whether it's one or a uh, hundred, you know, it should never happen. But let me know what you guys think. I'm going to watch football now. And I didn't even want to make a video today, but I thought it was important with this story that happened in Jordan. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day with that. Thank you for stepping into the foul playland with me. Please like, subscribe with that.